Hey guys, Jay here, and we're going to talk about the lane splitter helmet from Biltwell that we got from Speed Kings Cycle Supply in Riverside, California. We're going to check out what was inside the box. We're going to check out the helmet and all its features. Then we're going to take it on a little ride and do a review afterwards to see what the helmet was like when it was on our heads while riding around. So stay tuned for all that right here on the Dynavlog. All right, so we've got the helmet outside of the box, and here's what comes with it. You've got a helmet bag from Biltwell, a nice comprehensive manual that has all kinds of instructions in here on the care and use of your helmet, the parts, what to do with it, what not to do with it, when to replace it. And very important, they stress in here, always wash this with mild soap and water. Don't use any chemicals like Windex or anything that has ammonia in it or that's that's just going to be corrosive to the coverings or coatings of your helmet. Make sure you use warm water and some soap when you have it, some mild soap like dish soap. Don't use any type of chemical to clean this like 409 ammonia based Windex or anything like that. There they stress it big time and from my own experience it does help keep the helmet in a very nice condition. Now the manual, as far as it going into all kinds of points that it does about there, it comes in different languages as well. It comes in Italian, Spanish, and French, and German, as well as English. So if you speak another language uh, other than English, those other languages is right here in this manual, and it covers a wide range of customer base to do that. One important thing I do want to point out is that this helmet is DOT and ECE certified, Department of Transportation in the U.S. and European Commission for Europe in European countries. So this is a very highly safety rated helmet that we've got here in the lane splitter by Biltwell. All right, let's take a look at the helmet. Now, it comes stock with a clear visor. There are other visors that you can get, different colors, different shades. Uh, whatever you need, you need, you can go to BiltwellInc.com and check out all the accessories for this helmet and what it has to offer to change the look or change the styling or the comfort. And check them out. They've got all kinds of accessories for you. So it comes with a nice clear stock visor. It locks into place with this brass dowel right here. You lift up the tab, pop it up, and boom, you're there. You've got the visor open. I'm going to take it down. Just pull it all the way down, you hear it snap into place, it's all good to go. Now, there are vents on the front, some exhaust vents on the side, and there's another exhaust vent on the back. Just make note that on this helmet, all these vents are open all the time. You cannot close them. The other helmet that I had, you could open and close the vents on the, the front of the helmet and up here on the sides where you had them up on the top. So this one just has the one big vent system in the front, some little side exhaust systems on the side, and then one where the airflow will go up and over your head, through the helmet, and back out this way. So it'll keep you nice and cool when you're riding around on hot day. Now the other features of this helmet, very nice chin strap system. Nice sturdy webbed nylon. You've got a metal snap in here instead of a plastic snap. Some of these helmets have a plastic snap, which is going to wear out over time, and it's not going to hold up as well as a metal snap. There's a sliding piece here that has the retention snap. that You can slide up and down the chin strap here to adjust it so that you get it at a good, nice, tight fit so that you don't have this hanging down, maybe catching on something while you're riding. It'll keep it up nice and tight up against the other strap and you won't have something hanging down over here. The padding in here is beautiful, it's comfortable. Some people talk about the break-in period. What I did was I wore the helmet uh, two or three times while watching TV for about an hour or so and by the time I went to do the test of this on the bike, it fit perfectly. It was still just a little bit tight but it wasn't as bad when I first tried it on. So just wear it a couple of times uh, when you, after you buy it 
put it on, wear it around the house, let it get you know conformed to your face. Once it does, it doesn't take very long to do that and you're good to go. It'll feel comfortable when you're riding it. The one thing I do really like about this though, it has this extended cowl right here to cover your chin. And that's gonna be very good in a winter type situation because like I said, these vents are open and you can't control them as far as closing them or opening up a little bit, they're open full time. So if you're in a cold situation, you're gonna have a lot of air come in through here. I like the cold, it's not gonna bother me, but some people may have to wear a bandana or get one of those neoprene uh, bandanas that they have that they put over their face to keep themselves warm during a winter situation. But it does provide for maximum airflow all the time while you're wearing the helmet. All right guys, so I took the helmet out on the street and put it through its paces. Took it on the freeway, took it on the street, and it performed beautifully. Um, putting on the helmet, was easy it you know like i said i had already worn it a few times to kind of break it in a little bit but as you can see here it slid on really well it fit well it was nice and tight uh putting my glasses on i wear glasses at night and during the day they slid right on there wasn't no problem i was kind of just adjusting them to see you know how they fit and if they moved around or not the helmet was really nice and lightweight didn't really feel it there um, here I'm ripping up the on-ramp to the freeway. It got up to about 95 miles an hour. And as you can see, I had the visor up and then it started to fall down a little bit as I started getting faster and faster. At about 85 miles an hour is where it started falling. So uh, if you're doing anywhere, you know, normal freeway speed, 65 to 75 miles an hour, the visor will stay up if that's where you need it to. If anything past that, you get about you know, 83, 85 miles an hour, it's gonna start falling down on its own. So that may be a plus or minus for anybody, but it does happen. Uh, the one thing that did happen too that I didn't like, particularly like, is it started fogging up here. So there may not just be enough um, air movement between there, but as far as the air coming in, it really didn't feel suffocated or anything. The air was flowing nicely and I felt cool in the helmet even though it was pretty uh, hot outside. Now, um, like I said, the splitting lanes with it, you got a lot of view here in the helmet. As you can see, splitting lanes here, I was able to turn around and see, I was able to see out of the corner of my eyes really well. And uh, going down the freeway, not a lot of noise in this thing at all. Though I didn't hear any noise on the, on the upper part of it. But like I said, again, below here, I did hear a lot of road noise. Um, not a whole lot of road noise, but just some road noise, more than I'm used to. And I did hear the exhaust. So you do hear some noise out of the bottom of the helmet. But as far as the top of the helmet, I didn't hear any whistling or you know, wind noise coming through. It uh, sounded really nice. It was kind of quiet for me. Uh, my other helmet was a little bit loud. Um, but it's a cheaper brand helmet. So overall, I really like this helmet. I'm going to keep it. It's going to be my main helmet. And if you're interested in it and you want to find out more, go to builtwellinc.com and check out the website for all the accessories and the helmet itself. And if you plan to buy this thing, see my friend Steve over at Speed King Cycle Supply in Riverside, California. Check out their website. Look up on Instagram. And he will get you a good deal on this helmet, maybe less than 250 I don't know. But just tell him the Dynavlog sent you and ask Steve what kind of deal he can cut you on this lane splitter helmet. Well, that's it. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you like the channel, subscribe and hit that little bell button. You'll get notices when I put out more videos. And we're going to have more product reviews, unboxings, events, all kinds of stuff that are Dyna related. So again, like the channel. Subscribe to it, like the videos, and we'll see you back out there. Hit us up on Instagram at the DynaVlog and on Facebook, DynaVlog, and we'll see you out there again. Until then, this is Jay, and this has been the DynaVlog.